If you ever wanted to connect an SSD to a graphics card, well then just keep watching this video. Asus is experimenting with an RTX 4060 Ti that would come along with an M.2 slot. Now, why would anybody want this? Well, back in the day of hard drives and SATA SSDs, even cheap motherboards would usually come with six SATA connectors. So you could connect up to six drives to your PC, whereas today you can usually only connect two NVMe SSDs and then another one with like an adapter. And well, the GPU slot will usually be a PCIe 60 next connection, whereas the GPUs often need only eight of them, so you could use the other eight to connect two more NVMe drives. And shockingly, the temperatures aren't even an issue because the SSDs are getting cooled by the gigantic cooler of the graphics card. Let me know if you'd be interested in something like this and follow because I really like that. Welcome back to another video. So today we actually have a very sort of a new and different idea for the GPU space. Uh, uh, which is pretty exciting. So basically Asus is playing around with the idea to release GPUs that would come with an NVMe SSD connector. And well, as soon as I've heard about this, I thought about heat, uh, that that would be the issue because if you've ever touched the top of a graphics card, it runs incredibly hot. For instance, a few years ago, my all-in-one liquid cooler died for the CPU. The liquid basically evaporated out of it over the years. So it was working very poorly. And I was like, why is my CPU so laggy? So I opened up the computer and I just started messing around with things and I touched the top of my RTX 2060 at a time and it was just man, it was hot because you just have so much heat rising up from the GPU from this backplate. And I mean, if you've ever started benchmarking a graphics card and then looked at the temperature of your upper SSD, it goes up quite drastically. And while the cool thing here is that the SSD actually runs cooler than if you would to connect it to a normal slot on a motherboard. Because as we can see the schematic of the board of the graphics card right here, the SSD is actually very far away from all of these major heat generating components components and then it also basically just connects to this gigantic cooler over here so uh yeah the temperatures as you can see here 43 degrees uh, celsius that's very cool for an nvme drive and i just want to point out that this was done on an rtx 4060 ti which is a 160 watt card i do not think you could actually pull this off with an rtx 4090 for an instance because those things just run a lot uh, a lot more hot whereas here we're essentially dealing with a 100 160 watt card it basically has a pretty beefy sort of a little bit of an overbuilt cooler also the t-junction temperature so the maximum temperatures at what you should run a component i don't think they line up exactly well over here because the actual chip and the ram can run at a lot hotter temperatures than what you would usually want to run the nand flash of the ssd at because uh if you run those too hot sure you're going to degrade performance but you're also going to degrade the lifetime of the ssd now i I think this is still a very great idea because we are in sort of a weird spot in this sort of the PC space. Because just a few years ago, uh, even the cheap motherboards would come with like six SATA connectors. The better ones would come with like eight SATA connectors. You could connect external hard drives for USB connectors. So you could just have all of these drives. And now for so many years, uh, we've pretty much just had two slots for NVMe SSDs, whereas the only the upper one is the actually good slot because the upper slot can connects directly to the CPU, whereas the lower slot connects to the motherboard chipset and then that connects to the CPU. So basically, it's not as good. And then you can usually add another NVMe SSD in there with like the use of an adapter. But again, that gets connected to the motherboard chipset, not directly to the CPU. So again, not as good. And of course, the alternative can be to just use one of these SATA slots on your modern motherboard. But the thing is, buying a SATA SSD just sort of feels bad because they're a lot slower than the new NVMe SSDs and they don't really cost much less at all. So it doesn't feel good to just basically get a worse deal. Now, another thing on modern motherboards is the fact that you can do PCIe bifurcation. So usually that will come in the form of you splitting the 16X PCIe slot on your motherboard to an 8X slot, and then the other one below it would also be an 8X slot. But that usually only comes on higher end motherboards. And uh, of course, as a user, you need to set that up. It requires some tinkering within the BIOS. Whereas this would be seemingly a much more of a plug and play solution. 
So as far as my overall thoughts go, I think this is actually a really great idea. Firstly, just because like, why not? I don't think it would actually increase the price of the GPU by that much at all. And yeah, I think a lot of people have had very low capacity NVMe drives in the past. And now at this point, they might still have them and they're just like, well, this 250 gig NVMe is just like not worth to connect it to my PCIe for just the 250 gigs, right? You, you, it's basically uh, not worth the connection with its low capacity because you can only have like two or free not to mention that this would actually be a higher performing slot as well because it would go directly to the cpu uh so i think this is pretty great but let me know what you think would you use something like this would you even want something like this or do you just not have any requirements for more storage so you just don't really care thanks for watching and hopefully you have a nice day